of these inbred maggots from Clemson to come on my channel and post a comment about me being illiterate trash, right? Because they're angry about that video I posted calling Clemson racist, right? Now, this is not the first time I've actually called the school racist because the first one I called racist was LSU. I said LSU has the most racist fan base out of all sports, not just football, all sports. Who remembers that video where I said LSU has a, a web fans have a website dedicated to calling the football players every kind of nigger that is. It's called Tiger Bait. It's a it's a it's a website that the school still sing, the school still allows this website in a locker room. They haven't sanctioned it, even though they know the fans, the racist as LSU fans, all convene on the site and attack African American football players. They attack anything black. They hate black tires. Any fucking thing black, right? Well. If I say something, you guys know I operate this this channel with a certain level of journalistic integrity. So if I say something, anything on here, you best believe I have facts to back this shit up. Now you go to Google, you do it, and you type in Clemson football and racism. Just those three words. And watch the shit that comes up. Just watch. Look at all the shit that comes up. Did I lie? Where's the lie? Did I ever lie on Clemson? You don't have to. You don't have to tell a lie. On every major publication, because the first thing ignorant ass white folks want to say, well, that's fake news. Not all of them. Not every fucking newspaper in the country. Not every newspaper around the world. All of them can't be lying. My grandmother said, if everybody's saying the same thing about you, it's you. If everybody is saying the same thing about your racist ass, it's you, Clemson. So the point of the video was don't let don't let anybody forget. I told you on this station here, I talk about race and football. I talk about how football is fucking up black children. I talk about on this station here how I want every black kid to quit football. I actually want football to become all white. Matter of fact, I want white people to import another race of children to entertain them. I'm actually sick of us taking our white, our black kids down there to the master and say, look, master, look, I got a big old boy. That boy, he's going to be pretty big for you, master. I think he's going to be able to shook up a whole lot of corn for you and sugar. I, I'm, I'm actually sick of that shit because we're still doing the same shit. We're still toting our big boys down there to the masses so he can he can assess their physical attributes and find a good place for them in the fields. Now, today, it's on the field. But back then, it was in the fields in hopes that he wouldn't be sold. If we can bring him down there to master and show master that he has some value. Maybe he won't hit the fucking auction block. We are still doing that shit today. We're still trying to impress white folks with the physical attributes of our kids as if they give a fuck about them when we should be. The only people we should be trying to impress are ourselves and impress us ourselves with their intellectual abilities and their intellectual attributes. No, we still... First time a boy is over six foot four, we running him down there saying he needs to be on a program. He don't need to. He don't need to play shit, but books. He don't need to play anything but but academic competitions. What's wrong with a kid being six foot five and, and not on any team, not playing anything? But we have allowed white people to do this shit to us. I told you we didn't always play football. But they didn't allow us to play this shit until they realized until USC beat the fuck out of Alabama. And that's when Bear Bryant realized, you know what? I need me some of them niggas on my team too. And that's when this this black this 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 almost like an oil race, right? This for crude. 
but the, the crew was actually black skin. It was an arms race to find the biggest and the baddest black dudes in the hood. That's when we started going to racist ass schools like LSU and Alabama and Kentucky. And well, first of all, LSU was the last one to desegregate. Okay. So before I talk about anybody, I first talk about th this shit here in this state. And to the little ignorant ass maggot from Clemson, right? You better read the room and check my videos. Because long before I address Clemson, I talked about racist ass LSU first. A place where my kids went. But they ain't playing no football. They, my kids wouldn't entertaining no white folks in the stand. We took advantage of their free education. And now my son makes $160,000 a year as a, an engineer. So, fuck you. I talk about what I want on this channel. See, that's, the, that's, the, that's when it's not monetized, right? When you don't have to kiss ass for commercials, you, you know, in, in, in commercial revenue, you can say what the fuck you want to say. <laughs> and nobody can do shit about it. They can't do anything about it. So when I call Clemson and I tell black parents, stay the fuck away from it. This is a private conversation between one African-American to another African-American. I'm talking to black parents. The problem with white people is that nobody taught you motherfuckers boundaries. You don't know how to mind your fucking business. So a black person is talking to another black person telling them, stay the fuck away from this place. Or they will recondition your son to be a fucking ass kissing coon. That's the only kind of players they want there. I told people in Jennings, Louisiana, when you see Dabo come in there, run his, run his racist ass out of your city. But they keep letting this motherfucker come in there, dra dragging their sons to fucking Clemson. And now you got this mute ass, ass kissing ass, yes, a boss who nobody respects on the fucking team. Who's not going to say anything. A white man could call them a nigger in front of their face. That white coach called these, these boys and said the word nigger in front of these boys. And none of them said shit because that's what Clemson does. It numbs their senses. It closes their fucking eyes. It makes them fucking just just vanilla popsicles in a black pack called the fucking African-American community. And if that's what you want for your son, you send him to Clemson. To everybody else, repeat after me. Fuck Clemson and, and fuck the people at Clemson.